My favorite fairy tales are those in which the hero has to save their siblings. I also love fairy tales that involve journeys into the magical otherworld. There's just so much room for the imagination to explore these enchanted worlds. This is what makes Sussan's story so perfect. Her story is only a small part of a larger epic that is primarily about Sussan's brother. But being a hero in a world of evil gods and powerful monsters, sometimes he needs his sister to come and rescue him. Her part of the story begins when a bird pops into her home and tells her that her brother has died. So, a princess who talks to animals? Check! Sussan secures the help of a magical talking horse who can ride through the sky on rainbows. Seriously. When she finally finds her brother's body, some ravens come down from the sky and ask her how she came to this place, where birds have never flown and horses have never walked. Realizing that these ravens are in fact spirits of the heavens, she gets them to help her recover her brother's body, and then flies to the heavens to find a more powerful heavenly spirit. In the heavens, she enters a deity's tent and teases him until he finally grows angry enough to draw a sword on her. And then she scolds him for having drawn a sword on a woman, at which point she convinces him to give her a magical hair that will allow her to capture a more powerful heavenly spirit. Once captured, she gets this heavenly spirit to bring her brother back to life, and they all live happily ever after. I've heard somewhere that Disney might have already done some little story about a queen who wields ice powers, but Miranda is the most awesomest queen in fairy tales ever. Being the greatest queen in ever, Miranda has turned her island nation into the happiest place in the world. Beauty and peace can attract monsters, however. In this case, Koshje, the king of the underworld and lord of the dead, leads an army to destroy her kingdom. Miranda leads her own army, and through her powers she is able to freeze him, but not before he lays a curse on the kingdom that puts everyone but her to sleep. With her people asleep, Miranda is now alone, and eventually the Lord of the Dead thaws out, because he can't die unless someone finds his heart, which is hidden far away. Kostje is afraid of Miranda's powers to keep him frozen in ice, so he gets a dragon whose fire can counter her ice, locking the two of them in an eternal stalemate. Now for a classically Disney part of this. Miranda has actually been meeting a prince in the dream world. Needing this prince's help now, she talks to a cloud who tells her to talk to the wind, who tells her to talk to the stars, who tell her to talk to the moon, who tells her to talk to the sun. Finally, the sun goes and tells the prince how to help her. After an epic journey across the spirit world, the prince destroys Kostje's heart. This kills Kostje right away, but you could make it so that Miranda has to finally defeat him and the dragon, or just the dragon. With Kostje dead, the kingdom wakes up and everyone lives happily ever after, because they still have Miranda as the greatest queen ever. The Seven Ravens. Now back to the sisters who save their brothers. The Seven Ravens is a story about seven boys who are changed into ravens and now have to dwell in the Glass Mountain. The Glass Mountain was a location in the spirit world in European lore, and was often associated with Fairyland, or the Land of the Dead. During her journey through this fairy land, the girl gets too close to the sun, who nearly burns her up, and then too close to the moon, which desires to eat her. After fleeing from the moon, the stars help her by giving her a bone, for she needs this to enter the glass mountain. Sadly, she loses this bone, so when she reaches the glass mountain, she has to sacrifice a finger to get a bone. Once inside, she is finally able to rescue her brothers and return home, and they all live happily ever after. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you did so I can keep doing these. Thank you.